everyone, and I'm back with Elite Super Blitz Arena. Let's go! And yeah, let's have fun and let's have some good games. And I'm back. Okay, let's have all good luck call. Hello, all. And let's go! Da 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 da. So my first opponent of the day is going to be Playfair sixty four. Good luck. Knight c three. I'm not sure. E six is pretty unusual. Bishop h six. We are playing pretty fast like we are playing bullet to be honest. But it's blade three plus zero. E four. Let's see. Let's castle <laughs> with the idea of D takes E. Okay. Now I have knight d five with knight seven idea, and if you move this queen protecting that pawn. Oh, it just says knight d five. Oh, <laughs> he did not play just an 85. And now I'm winning, I think. Okay. <laughs> Win a 4. Here. I think here, if he would play knight g8, it would be more or less fine. Queen e3, it would be an exchange up, of course, but still better for him than here. And I wonder if he play pair 64. Good game. Nice start. Play in Augustine seven. Hello. Play with black pieces. Let's play G six. Okay. So I got pretty unusual Sicilian actually. Why unusual? I mean, I guess it is. Maybe usual, but I don't play it often, so for me it is unusual. Let's say d6, knight f6, I think it kind of transformed to dragon variation at some... Somehow... Okay, knight f6... Castle... Knight d7, knight e5... Okay, a5, a4 idea. Knight c5. Mm -hmm. I need to take knight b3. I mean, yeah, let's take bishop e6, maybe queen c7 idea. I asked bishop d4 actually. Mm -hmm. But he does not play it. Here I think c5 is a banner because he'll take, so I don't know, just queen c7. Take C5. Okay. Here I'm considering F5. Basically, it takes F, Queen F3. That's much better pawn structure, so it looks pretty good. Yes, these. So f takes e takes here queen e7 bishop g2 queen b7 bishop b7 I'm not sure let's see f4 is interesting mm -hmm. yeah I think his idea may be like e5 I will play rook d8 though here Bishop c8, e5 maybe, and maybe even g5, g4, you know, to put some pressure. Okay. f5, 
Piper coherent. Oh well, it, my pawn will be a weakness. I'm not so sure if that's a good move for me, but I guess we'll see sooner or later. Yeah. Here I have rook f6, and if queen d3, bishop a6 is possible. Or I can play f3. Mm -hmm. It goes back knight d5 idea, probably. Mm. Maybe queen f8. Knight d5, like rook f7, g5. Guess I'm, my pawn is under protection. So I think I shouldn't have problems with it. Bishop e6. Here I want g5. And rook g7, g4. It's looking interesting. Yeah, g4. He stops me and he turns pathant. I'm not so sure if I want to. Well, I don't technically need to. Maybe king h8. And now this. Uh -huh. So takes, takes, he'll have a weakness on g4. Let's try it. Though a queen h3. I'm not so sure what I will do after he'll play queen h3 actually. Yikes. I guess it shouldn't be bad. King f7. King e7. Ah, position is pretty closed. Okay, Kate. I'm pretty sure he won't fall for that. Yep, he did not. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Maybe I got something here. Queen h6, queen h3. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure, but at least it looks promising. Yes, knight d5, and I didn't see how I can win, but he decides to run. Uh, queen h1. Now rook b2 and rook b3 is this threat. We'll just take. That should be winning. Nice. And spine of up. Wait, did I burn? No, I did not. And only my Augustine 7. Oh, that wasn't simple, but I managed to win. Yeah, I think he, he blundered at the end. GG. After I took rook h1, he had king, king g2, he would be fine, I think. But yeah, he did not. <laughs> so, so yeah. Play against Fabiano Corona 2019. Oh, thanks. I'm not sure. <laughs> Basically, think equal position. Maybe he is a bit better. I'm not so sure though, because yeah, position is closed and he has the knight. And I guess, as we know, knight is better than two bishops in close position. So, yeah, queen of two. These. Please be careful if knight d7, queen f7, and mate. <laughs> My idea may be... Okay, <laughs> that's not, not blundering. Oh wait, I may have blundered a pawn. Um, hmm. Let's see. g3, I guess? Yeah, because I don't want to play h3. And I kind of don't see anything else. Let's see, is this b4, b5 idea? Bishop f4. Rook c5. 
Take six? Okay, it doesn't play queen c6. I just hang a pawn. Oh, but he did not take it. That is cool. Let's play bishop g4. Takes. Now. Hmm. Bishop h5. I mean, bishop was 3 at 95 with a tempo. So, and I don't really want that. Queen b2. So I'm basically giving away a pawn, but then I would have queen b3, and I think you fall for my trap. <laughs> nice. Takes. Rook d1, rook c3, queen c3. You fall for that? I don't think you will, but maybe. Oh, oh, he just fall for all traps. That's cool. Yeah, he was holding very well. But then he fall to a lot of traps I've placed, and I won three for me on a Karana 2019. Good game. GG. Playing in Zaplia. Hello. Hello. I think he does not take, does he? Doesn't play d5. And yeah, does not take also. Though, I think playing d5 is a bit less. It's a bit worse. Here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Continue like queen e7. I know it may be crazy. 95. I, I guess I technically did not attack, but I technically did attack. So bishop g4, I'll play knight. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's actually. Pretty crazy. Let's play this with knight of three rook e three idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so feels like he pro defends. But I don't want to say that he defends, so I'll try. Here. Mm -hmm. 94. Not sure if it's good, but I mean, a little trap, which he did not fall into. Though, yeah. Bishop c5, then I d2, and I get to attack e3 pawn. Here, I think here you may have blundered. I'm gonna take, and then knight g3. So basically, this, queen e3. Uh, rook c8. And we need to check rook f2, bishop f3. Mm -hmm. Bishop here, queen e3. Bishop e4 with queen g3 thread. <gasps> They did not see that I hung it for one. Wow. Oof. Oh, wow. That's crazy. How did we both see that? I'm not sure. I 
let's see. <laughs> I will not give up. Try to promote. Mm -hmm. Let's see, that actually will be a pretty spicy race, as it seems. Yes, he will win it. Well, <laughs> try is a try. Yikes, I don't know how I managed to blunder a queen, but I did. Let's give him up, Leah. Yeah, it was like plus 10 or so, I guess. Ouch! <laughs> Yeah, plus eight, okay, not plus ten. And then, yeah, he made a move after what I am winning. So, <laughs> I don't know, playing in Sigma Tulo. Just played a beautiful game and then blocked. <laughs> mm, well. D5. Let's hope that this blunder won't happen again. H6 takes. I mean, okay, his bishop is not super well developed. Let's play rook d8. I guess he wants to play f1. Oh, maybe he does not. I'm not sure. Queen f7. Queen g6. Let's see. Here, d4. g4. This. Um, okay, I think I need to go back. I think he may play a 4. Not sure if he will. No, he did not. Okay, f4 is a weak square. It will be very useful if I will play knight h7, play g5, and get my knight there. That will be awesome, I think. Here. Ah, maybe not another knight, and then this knight can go to f6. That's interesting, actually. My g6. Mm-hmm. Okay, knight f knight f six will hand this pawn. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here, ow. Okay, e five. Some counterplay. He does not play it. Okay, I will play it by my own. His knight is stuck. Guess he can't really win it. So probably a trade. Yeah, he has probably not the best ever bishop because he has. All, all, all pawns on light square. Um, so yeah, his bishop is pretty passive. Let's see these in h6. No, I need to need to find his place where I can break through. Let's play queen g3. So the question is, how can I break through? I think it was blundered. And Queen D2. Oh no, he survives. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's interesting. Check. So basically, he cannot move. I think that should be a Zug's rank. Oh, well, he has Queen F1 or Queen G1. But I think A4, A3, A2 
will bring me the win. Not sure now. Yeah, A4. And A3. And yeah, that was a pretty good game, I think. Of course, he blundered. But basically, every game you win, you open a blundered somewhere. And on the name Hikmatulo. Or unless you win on time. But in lost position. But otherwise... <laughs> He blundered, or unless it's a draw in a draw position where no one blundered. But yep, yeah, here he blundered, and I successfully managed to win. GG. Playing Sylvia Kutle. Okay, so ready opening. Let's see, G3. Now both Fianchetto from me and Fianchetto on G7 for my opponent. Say Rook C1. This. Mm -hmm. Rook FD1. Okay. Yeah, I traded everything, and then like it's a question how to find how to win. Because I'm not sure if he has many weak squares actually. I mean, I guess basically wait, and at some point when he'll blunder, try to find his blunder and jump on it and win the game. I guess like that. Yeah. Okay, this rook d4, let's try. I mean, I think one thing is definitely try to mate him on h7. Rook c d1, though, I'm not sure. Maybe I will play queen f3. Though, if I play like queen f3 or queen e4, he will have f5. And I'm not so sure. It will be great. Okay, I'm not sure what I think. Queen b7 is a pawn blunder. Yep. Queen c2. I will play queen e7, winning second pawn. Um, well, winning second pawn. Now his rook is under fire, so he's going for that. Now I'll play queen e7. I think if he will take, then I'll have rook d8, so he is forced to take on d8 technically. Then I will take back, then king g7. Wait. Yeah, king g7, queen f8, king f6, rook d6, king e5, queen e7, and if he will go king g5. There will be something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it immediately. Let's see, rook d6. Now, let's try and give a check on e7. Needs to play passively king h6, or that. I'm not so sure about this move. Because, I mean, queen h7, I think, just wins. Because, I mean, h4, king, h6 get given him some chances. But I think queen, h7 does not give him chances at all. Unless they blundered something. Okay, here. So blind today. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't want to draw. Let's try to win. Yeah, can you two basically queen e4 perpetual? How did I blunder that? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I just need h4. I, I mean, I calculate queen b1, I thought he doesn't have queen e4, but I missed it. Okay, these, king here. Yeah, so he says he has perpetual here also. Mm -hmm. I see. Let's see if he does. Let's see, king g2, queen e4, king g1. Oh, no, wait. Here. Will he take on c4? No. King f1, if queen h1, king f2 checks are over. So queen b1 check? Oh no, he just takes the pawn. h4 check then? Queen d7. Let's see. Oh, I'm being so blind today. Road game Sil Sylvia Kutle. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, my game plus 9, queen h7, just losing it all. Oh, I mean, not losing, but drawing it all. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. I was even plus 16. I needed h4. Oops. <laughs> So we next to move three and then the one I'm playing in K72 chess. D5? No, okay. So I have four. That's the scene I usually play. But today I'm trying it. Okay. She takes stuff is pretty weird <laughs> to be honest. Um, I, I guess then I will launch at castle. Let's see. Hmm. hmm. Bishop g3, but then knight e3, I cannot castle. Uh, and, and queen d2, knight f2, bye bye to my exchange. Oh well, let's play queen d2. Let's have some fun. Oh, he just castled. Now I didn't care about giving an exchange at all. <laughs> yeah, these. Here. Let's play rook g1. I mean, I guess I need to care to time an exchange down. Do not go anywhere else crazy. Do not lose even more material. Let's play a3. Rook f3, rook g3. Let's play bishop b4. Okay, here. No, my bishop is stuck. Hehe. Knight a4, bishop c3. Yes. Yeah, b5. 
here. Rook g3. C, a5, bishop c3. Trying to get some counterplay. He does take, b takes c. g7 may be a weakness. But I guess if I won't attack it, it won't be a weakness. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rook f3. These queen c4. I'm trying to make some counterplay. Yeah, when I gave away an exchange, I thought it would be a little bit less problematic <laughs> than it is in reality. I think I have some problems in this position. Really hope they won't be big problems, but they may be. Oh my pawn, I hung it, let's play queen d3. Queen f3, if he'll move his queen somewhere, I may play rook g7, queen f6, and we'll be happy with the draw. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go all in, knight e4, let's bring my knight into attack, yeah. Not sure. Knight d6, no, knight g5. Queen f5. Queen here. <laughs> he blundered. Yeah, okay. Next games I will play a bit less aggressive, I think. Yeah, just a little bit less. Not game K, 72 chess. Good game. Well, how I play today won't be a huge surprise that I will not win this. I will win this. Uh huh. GG. Beans Gondolin. Oh, he was playing in followers. Oh, cool. I oh, yeah, remember I just hung a queen. Lol. Yeah, yeah. Now I think after three, two followers. Ah, yeah, we didn't play for a big while actually. So we firstly played a 2900 followers arena. And then we played lastly uh 45. 100 followers arena. Cool. <laughs> what can I say? That's cool. 84 may be some issues, but no. He doesn't go for it. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice idea from my opponent. Which I'm not so happy that he found it because I'm a bit worse. See, queen c8. Knight e5. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, knight, nah, he has bishop, he would not have it, I would have played knight g4, knight g4, queen f3, I will take, he would take, bishop c5, knight d4, e5, I'm actually fine. <laughs> okay, let's take, will I play bishop f4? I'm not sure. No, he plays bishop a7, well, I'm gonna go rook a8. Aha, uh -huh, now bishop d4. Let's see, knight c6. Is he planning to do? If c takes this, knight d4, queen d4, bishop c5, pin and win the queen. And if he will take with the knight on d4, then c3, knight hangs. Okay, he goes for bishop to c5. It's pretty interesting. Takes. 
winner five. Mm-hmm. Okay, queen e5. Attacking both of the knights. So basically e3 knight is not under fire, but the other one is under fire. So yeah, he needs to defend it. If he will play like, I don't know, rook somewhere. Okay, that, I have knight d4. Queen is three threat and knight e2 technically is a threat. See what will he do? Is it even possible to defend? Not sure. These, let's play rook a c8. Basically, if queen before I'll have queen e3, and it's two knight before, but I think I will play rook f8, creating even more pressure. Okay, he gives away queen for rook, it's making a fate. Oh, I had the same against Zaplia almost. <laughs> Let's hope that the end of the game won't be like against Zaplia. Let's play rook e8. Do we have knight c4? Maybe rook c3, knight e2 would have been better. Not sure. Mm -hmm. Here, wait a sec. Knight e2. And that, and that should be winning. Good game, I don't think I'm gondolin. Knight f4. Cs. Nice. And GG. Nice. Alrighty. Legends Hobby Chess. C4. Takes. I'm not sure. Knight of 6 is pretty unusual way to play, actually. I saw my clutch against Hobby. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> that was like equal. Then I hung a bishop and then I hung the game, but I clutched on time. Oi, oi, oi. Bishop e3. Bishop e2. D5. Okay, I'm gonna take. Then, of course, I guess he will take back. And then castle. I think he will maybe play C. No, E6. Aha, uh -huh, makes sense. It will take. Rook A C1. Mm -hmm. Let's play a 5. We should see for E C interesting. Wait a second, bishop here, queen here, he takes, here, bishop e2, here, here. Oh, that's interesting. f6, wait a second, f6. Well, he can take. His plan will crash, but. Uh, queen d8, rook a d8, here, bishop e2, bishop d8, bishop f1, bishop e7. I'm not sure. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Hmm. I'm gonna play something weird. First, I will take. I just didn't calculate what I will do after that. Yeah, that's my logic. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay. I mean, if you play bishop e2, my plan just breaks. Uh, no, wait, if f takes g, bishop f1, g takes f, so he's forced to go bishop h8. Bishop b6, he will probably take. Here, he will take on f1. Here, with threat of bishop f8, and with threat of rook f1. Boom. Nice. Let's hope I did not miss anything. So, yeah, everything goes as planned. Yes, it was. That is cool. If you play bishop c4, no, he does not. This and then e5, f6 pawn is just non -touch, not touchable, and I think I should be winning, let's say, in a t4, a g5, and a to 7 threat. Here, rook g1. And eight f seven. If that, I mean, f six pawn won't go anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just play knight d six. And now I even can play a rook d five, and he won't go out. But I'll play b four, then a four, and that should also win. Knight b seven. And he goes bishop here. No dream. Wait, he'll play bishop f6. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. No dream, hobby chess. Yeah, I felt it. Playing the master Renan, Renan race. Good luck. Oh, we played in blitz. It was one mate from mate. Wait, one mate from mate. One move from mate. d4 I think it is weird to play Ooh, nice from him nice play from him d6 it takes e D6 here. Well, maybe it's actually not so bad. Ah, uh, well, it maybe is here. I mean, yeah, I'm pawn down, but I think this pawn is takeable. And if basically bishop f6, queen f6, it should be fine also, I think. I'm not sure, I just think. Oh, okay, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? He wants to draw? Okay, here I think I will play bishop d5. Not knight d5 because, yeah, I mean, my bishop is, my knight is pinned, so yeah. Here, bishop g2. Hmm, I need to play g takes f. Well, I think it does shouldn't hurt much. Yeah, I was thinking queen here, but then he has queen f3. And if queen c2, he has rook e2. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to play queen f3 there, making my pawn structure the same, like, now. Okay, wait, he hangs a pawn? Or is this something he planned? I think he did just hang a pawn. So now I think I'm in an advantage. Now he hung another pawn, as it seems. 
Though, 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 I'm not sure if I want to take it. Because if I will, he has rook a b1, and then I think I just won't be able to hide. So queen c6 check. Here. Let's play rook f e8. Oh no, maybe let's play queen b6, just to protect this pawn. Now we'll play rook f e8. Mm -hmm. Queen c6. B3. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just want to save my pawn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, protected most of my pawns. <laughs> is good though not sure where when and how i'm planning to win it's a little issue shouldn't be too big i guess mm -hmm. tries to win by himself oh that's interesting i had queen e3 yikes i'm so blind today i'll just put all the oh he does not just play queen f4 mm -hmm. that's interesting Mm -hmm, now he just played with four. Let's play rook d5. Yeah, I mean, come on. It was simple. I think queen e3, then rook d2, and I think I should have been winning. Let's see. I'm gonna take on e5. Uh huh. Rook f5, yes, queen g4. So I don't really want it, I guess. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's a blunder, definitely. Lol, lol, lol. What am I thinking? I'm not sure what am I doing. Oi, oi. it must run, run on race I am just not sure here 30 seconds versus 36 seconds I am plus 8 <laughs> then I am here he has 26 seconds I have 4 seconds and position is just plus 2 for me and then somehow with 3 seconds versus 26, I clutched it. I'm not sure what did I do to, in this game. I still, I'm not sure how somehow managed to win. <laughs> but I got extremely lucky. Play against ADGJL2021. I think it will be pretty useful if I will play a little bit better. Now maybe it wasn't necessary to take, so he'll just push a bit. Yeah. Oh well. Sure. 
If I remember correctly, I should play like a3, b4 upon minority attack. b4. Knight d2 preventing knight e4 and knight c4. I remember I studied, and for white knight in this type of structure, white knights need to be on d2, white knight, not knights, need to be on d2, and black is, I think, better placed on d6, because it can jump to e4 and c4, and white at the same time, I mean, d3, I think, is a square, but I think here, white are more of, okay, wait, some blunder mate, I think g3 is, well, not needed, but is the move I will play, because I don't want f4 and I don't want my knight back. Here, h4, is he going to take knight e3? Oh, he did. Yikes. Oh well, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I'll try to come back a pawn down. Yes, pawn down is not something that bad. Let's play knight b3. Now I will try to jump inside into his camp. <laughs> nice, nice play by ADGGL, to be honest. Let's play queen f3. I think I need to leave queens. Otherwise, it will be a bit, not a bit, less chances of doing something because as we know if you're down even a pawn you usually need to keep queens on the board because with queens you have more counterplay and when you are material up then other way around you want then you want to trade queens not him he will of course run away because he's material now. Let's see here, knight c3, b5. Maybe switching with my knights, I may break through at least a bit. Let's see. Maybe I won't get a lot. And if I blunder, I mean, queen c2, I guess, is a huge blunder, technically. But b takes c, maybe I'll have compensation. Knight d5 is a threat. If he'll take c takes d, rook e8 is the idea, so maybe it's not so bad. Let's see, takes, f queen d5, and then d8 idea. I don't want rook e8, because king h7, rook e8, queen d1. Yeah, just let's play queen d5. And I think even though I'm a piece down, rook e8 is very, very strong here. So if you'll play rook f8, just d8 should win. If you'll play rook d8, then rook e8, and that should win. Yeah, he goes for, well, maybe he even can try that. Look at that, Rook. No, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to hang a Rook. Sorry, but no. <laughs> I already blundered two completely win positions today. So, not in the mood of blundering the third one. Mm -hmm. Rook c1, I think, just set again on c4. So you'll kind of, okay, or that, but I think that should be a victory. 94, I'll play rook e7 in between her. If that, I'll just play d5 and then rook e7, d6. Yeah, d6, rook f7. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, I was technically sweaty. <laughs> so it was an eye down. <laughs> Here, Rook C five. This F four and GG. I don't dream A D G J L two thousand twenty one. Hello, Doctor Noemi. And let's have a look at the game of of 
of Intrash Master WW60 WWW68 against no wait this game will be over soon. Augustine 7 against RM Akbar Lubis and now oh we'll be back in a few minutes. Hello again, I'm here! So it was minus four actually, yeah. It's completely lost. And Queen B3, he he took a poisonous night. <laughs> Let's go! Let's win more games! Just need one more win to top four. Let's go, two more wins to top two. Uh, 15 points. Three wins on Berserk, but they don't Berserk. Four wins until top one. That's not easy! Let's go! Thanes Kuzman's turn. Did I play a blitz again? No, bullet. Okay, good luck. I'm not close to see if that makes sense. Knight c6. Here. D5, probably close position with C5, yes he does, bishop E7, queen B6, here, rook C8, mm. A5, okay, A5, takes g, maybe 4, ah yes, knight c3, yeah, I think I've technically messed it up, I think it doesn't hurt a lot a lot, if you play it, yeah, basically it'll just defend from my third, oh no, he plays rook c1, that's interesting, so he says take my pawn or no? I mean, I guess I would have taken it immediately because now he has knight c1 and he doesn't play it. So I'm greedy and I'm gonna take it now. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, z's. I guess he won't take with the knight, he'll take with the queen, right? Pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, because if he'll take with the knight, at some point I would have knight e5. I'm not so sure if soon, anytime soon, but at some point. I guess I would have it. Hmm, F6 is interesting. I'm not sure if it will be correct, but I want to break his pawn. I want to take his pawn on E5, so that's why I'm going for it. Here I can play Knight E5, but I think I won't, and I will play Queen E6. If Knight F4, then there is Queen G4. Hmm. 
Knight f4 and we'll take. He can take on d5. Yes, he has queen c7, right? No, he plays e6. Oi, oi, oi. That's really. Oh, I can take his knight. So I could. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Knight f8. Queen 7 else, he can take his knight. Knight is untouchable. <laughs> Yeah, technically, yeah. So you can touch it. I think I'm gonna give my bishop away. Play knight e6. I'm not sure if it's good. <laughs> we'll see. Takes yes, rookie one. Oh, no, maybe rookie one, queen e7, and I'm fine. Okay, here I'll give a check. Here I'll give another check. Play bishop f1, I think. Is he going for a draw? Huh. Okay. I mean... Mm. Yeah, really in Kuzman's turn. Here, that's... Yeah. Yep, look, he was plus seven, <laughs> just bishop of one. So, nice, I guess. I mean, technically not nice, I needed to win, but technically super great. Because I was minus seven. Point seven. Yeah, it was better. Ninety five was needed. Maha uh -huh, makes sense. Twenty six, yeah, I just threw it all. Lens <laughs> Virko Power. Okay, knight f6, so ready, only I'm playing with black pieces and it transformed to Sicilian very quickly. Wait, this, I think I'll be a pawn up. Ah, no, I won't be actually. So, ah, I will be actually. <laughs> That's cool. I think he would have, if he would have taken with e pawn, I would have bishop g5. Knight g5, queen g5, and d takes c. But okay, queen g5. Guess he will take my knight. We're feeling. Yep. Takes queen f6. Uh, bishop d7. Queen b2. Oh, thanks for the rook. I'll just play queen d4. I'll play king h8. Give him an opportunity to trap himself again. He doesn't fall for that. Maybe I need to play a bit more careful. Let's see. Rook b 8 He'll move his rook. I'll have queen a1 or rook b1. Seven idea, a uh, rook of one idea. Excuse me. Uh, 
Yeah, basically, if rook f3, I'm gonna take anyways, and then rook to b1, then I will win a queen for. Yeah, then only with the power. Yeah, I was winning the last game against him, I just hung a bishop and lost. <laughs> I'm playing spawn mass. Good luck. So, ready. Technically transpo transformed to Sicilian. Uh huh. Let's see. stay here you know it'll be a pawn down i guess it's not something bad and you can move his bishop oh well you can <laughs> very welcome to move your bishop of course but yeah if he if he didn't want to blunder then of course don't move his bishop but he did as it feels want to blunder so he did Let's see bishop h6 Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm, da -da -da, da -da -da. Should be five. Ship here. Okay, he takes back queen f3. Oh, I guess he will take my pawn. No, he plays bishop g7. Interesting. This rook d1, queen c4. Um. Yeah, rook hc8, let's play rook c1. With, yeah, I don't really want to give this pawn with the idea of rook h7. Yes, he'll play rook e7, yep, he does. Let's play a rook b3 with maybe rook e3 idea. Rook b3. Oh, no, I did not hang up one, actually, so <laughs> I did wonder it. Uh-huh, these. Nice idea. I'll play rook e3. Mm-hmm. Wait, you, you and me were so okay up there. <laughs> feel like a bam, bam. No, well, it was like... <clears throat> Okay, rook d1, queen d5, ah, it's equal. <laughs> I don't want a draw, but I'm not sure if <laughs> there is better result than a draw which I can get realistically. I don't think better result, but I can definitely manage to lose on time at least. <laughs> or just blunder.
think losing is losing won't happen. Yeah. Winning also. Maybe I'll actually win. Hold on a second. What? How? Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Nice! Then yeah, 15 seconds should be enough for me. Nice! <laughs> nice! Another important mass. I still have a question. Wait. I think yeah, that was completely winning. Here, wait, king f6? Oh, I need to go king g5. I was just scared to go. Yeah, I think king g5 here, f3, and then g4, right? Oh, no. Yeah. And then basically, this, this, king e7, blunder, these, and then winning. And against primum semper. I was like worried. Uh, yeah, king e7 here, here, but yeah, I should win. Ooh. Clutch win, let's go! One more win, and I'll be top two. Ooh. Let's go, oh, oh. Yeah, d5, e5. Why is everyone playing close Sicilian today? Gene. I didn't hear you for a while. Hello! My father. Seven months ago. It was a while ago. Seven months. Wait. Seven. Wait. Seven months ago that was a while ago. So yeah, he has double pawns. And yeah, I think he did not create any any pressure so now i think i am good and position i think is equal now i'll just make some moves he will just try to win wait don't say that i managed to get a water position Yes. Oh no, my pawn! <laughs> yeah, cheap didn't work. Mm. Oh. Yes, I'm gonna take. How will I win this? That's the same question to me and to myself. How oh, will you? You. Will you win this? <laughs> now I'm talking about how you will win this, not how I will win this. Okay, check. Maybe I got something. Hold on. Queen d2. If queen d2, I'll give a check and then queen c2. Oh la la! Maybe I didn't get anything. <laughs> Maybe just a false, false happy sign. I'm not sure. These, these, queen b1. Basically, my plan is to, if you'll play queen b1, just play queen f2, can play h4 or this, and basically, yeah, his queen is stuck here. And I'll slowly prom advance, 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 and then a2. I'll just play that. Now I have. Win B2, then A2, and I think that should be winning. Win B2. 
And yeah, A2. Nice. Again, one from Nassin. That is cool. Dream Primum Semper. Yum. G. G. Hello, up to I'm here. Let's go. I could have just say five immediately. Thing in Smasin eighty nine. You deserve it, Rich. Not scared. First time I'm not jump scaring of my open and berserk. Yeah, he always like berserks in Blitz. At least recently. Maybe not always all time, but recently he does berserk. Well, you must see an 89. Nice! He just hung a bishop. Playing Hasher. Good luck. Ready opening. Ooh! Ooh! Oh well. Oh well. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, always when I don't pre-move, my opponent plays normally when I could have pre-moved. Always when I pre-move, my opponent plays something I'm not ready. Oh, lol. Okay, so I still enjoy my position. Yeah, even though he has these, I think I still should be better. I mean, maybe not better, but I should be fine, definitely. Here, let's try knight g5. I'm gonna try to trip him. These, knight f7. And I think, yeah, that's an exchange for me. Maybe I could have played better bishop c8. You would take on C8, Rook E6, I'm not sure if it would be exactly better, but it feels so, when I already played this, <laughs> I'm seeing. Okay, Bishop D2, to finish what I play G3, Rook F8, Bishop E6, offering a trade. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A5 idea. F3. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I should be very, very good. A5 is coming. Yeah, if that I will just take and then Queen B7. Queen B7, not Queen D5, because he has Bishop C6. Queen B7, an exchange in a pawn up already, so slowly but surely. Now I will take D5 pawn because he does not have bishop C6. <laughs> and now rook E6, nice. Another name, Hashek, good game. Do -do 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 -do. In Grand, Grand Metrios GL GL Here needs three. No, okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's just play Queen D eight. Oh no, did I blunder something? Maybe I did. I'm not so sure. 
Okay, these and one side castle. Oi, oi, oi. One side castle seems pretty wild. We'll see if it will be good or not. Soon. Should be four. I mean, well, we both. Uh, well, I actually castled. <laughs> Let's not forget that I did manage to castle. And I, my rooks are connected. I think I finished my div. I finished my development, and I'm pretty sure he did not. So it looks good. Bishop c6, I will take. I think maybe I don't have big advantage, but I should have at least small advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knight here, knight f2, and I get to take on d2, of course, it's main, and knight f2 is like a little bonus trap. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I think that just blunder said peace. Another in Grand Matrius, maybe it was a monthly if you want to play bishop e1, yeah, maybe. If it is an ouch, what can I say? Yikes. Unlucky. But maybe he just blundered, I'm not sure. Play in the gene while gene. Hello! Not a friend, but. <laughs> the guy I know for 11 months already. Yeah, he'll make a move. Yeah. <laughs> Many guys. I'm not sure what's cool in that. When you wait until you're like two seconds left and then you make a move for me, it feels scary. What if you like your head will lag and instead of not holding? Yeah. For me, it is scary. I mean, of course, maybe he's drinking with water, but many guys. Oh, many other guys are also doing this, and I'm not sure. I mean, I sometimes had it. I think I didn't go so low until like two seconds. I think for me like four or five was max. And I think some got some accidental loses when they were not making a move and then they basically just lost because they didn't make it in 14 seconds or in 20 seconds. Did I have this against him or no? No, it was much different against him. But I had something similar, I think, kind of recently. Not sure not sure exactly when it was, but I remember some sort of position like that recently. At 95, I could have win immediately with attacking his queen. And yeah, 95 rook c7. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Queen B3 maybe. Yeah, I guess <laughs> could have got an easy win already, but yeah, I did not find it. Well, I guess I did find it, but not in time. Mm-hmm. Queen b6 is interesting. Move is not have queen g6 idea. Or queen 7. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Not sure if it will be awesome. But idea is 95. <laughs> I kind of want to play it. And 95. Oh, that's really smart. 95 is just as 95. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, we'll, we'll knight e5, knight e5, knight e5, knight e5, rook 7, and b6 is e5, my rook hangs on c8. Well, 
Wait, I need to move my knight. I was already like thinking when <laughs> or something like that. Uh, ninety four is interesting, to be honest. Ninety four queen g six. Wait, 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 wait. I I think it will be spicy. <laughs> Definitely will be. Did I miss something? Or did he miss something? Knight no, freaks one, then it's gg. Knight e2 is king h1. And then yes, knight c1, but then fg takes h. I think that's gg. I think I could have found it a bit earlier with knight e5, but I did not find it. But I still won. Nice. No name, Jean. Well, Jean. Gg. A lot of war. I'm here. Ba -ba 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 Why did I play against him? It was d5, c4, bishop f5. That was crazy. I'm playing against Suleiman of Bulat. Oh, I remember it was an, ep an epic game against him. The first one was so good, I sacrificed an exchange in an end game. That felt so cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, 20 minutes left in the tournament. There is a fight for top 1, and I'm in it. Let's see if I'll have, if I will be top one. Yeah, basically queen g6, knight e5, I would be plus two. W would not be something that good as I thought. I thought I would be like plus four already. But I would not be. I would not be plus four. Just plus two. I sure if that's a good move for him. I think I would like it. So this and that. I can castle at any time I want, so 96 isn't something I'm so scared now. And yeah, basically, yeah, this I have a6. Yes, I have 4 there. Ah, 94. 94, queen e4. E2. Maybe. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm greedy. I think you know it. <laughs> takes, takes. Yeah, these. Mm -hmm. Castle, 96. Queen B4 check. That does look good. Kitty 7 is wild, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure so. Uh, so yeah. Maybe before check. And okay, b8. So, a pawn up. I think, nice position. And yeah, bishop a8, I want to save the bishop. Mm -hmm. Okay, c8. Yeah, that was planned. That was definitely planned. D five, yeah. I just want to try try out <laughs> if I can win an exchange down. Definitely. Not anything else. <laughs> I was blind. No, 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 just, 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 just making a challenge for me. Um, look at shade. King G6. I think it won't want to take, will he? Oh, he does, okay. <coughs> that is interesting then. Knight F4, look H3. Check. Rook g3. I like that I have the knight, not the bishop, for a minor piece. When you usually an exchange, don't you get a piece? Minor piece. So yeah, that's why it's an exchange. And yeah, well, I like it because knight is more trickier and we'll get to time trouble sooner. It was planned. It was all planned. 
just completely perfectly planned and I wasn't even telling you about it for a lot. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> no, of course it was a blunder. Of course you can see it was just a big blunder. I don't know why I even played it yeah. Lane's cabaret. But <laughs> I made it look like it was yeah, uh, here it was A6? Oh well, that's a nice. Why didn't I thought about A6? I did like a four there. F4. Queen C5? A oh, queen of 4 96 87 Yeah. I guess I was just blind. And then I was mega blind while hanging. A piece, but uh, an exchange, not a piece. But technically it is a piece, but I need a piece back. Uh, um, yeah, I'm so happy I got a knight, not the bishop. I think I already said what I will repeat. Because knight is much more trappier piece than the bishop. And yeah, I think it is very, very good that I got the knight. Let's see, bishop b3. Because, yeah, with rooks, my, usually it's, every, I mean, almost everyone says that rook is better paired with the bishop. But here, I think, I feel like knight. was better I think he after he took C takes D I already got better I mean I guess I technically did not get better but I at least felt so because my knight was very very active after this so yeah and I felt it and I was like already the one who pushed and even though it was an exchange down so yeah okay here I gave away a pawn intentionally of course yeah, here is no jokes intentionally. I really gave it away. For dark square bishop, I mean, it feels interesting. He has weak dark squares. I think if I won't get used, if I won't find use of for them, then yeah, then basically it will be just a, like, I threw a pawn on the wind, on the wind. But if I will find how I have, how I can make the advantage on these dark squares, then it will be very, very nice pawn, pawn sacrifice. Right now I'm a bit struggling to find the plan. I have some idea. C's, I guess, queen g5. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be central. I don't really want it. A pawn down. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I'm sure I'm gonna go for c5. I am not sure about that pawn. <laughs> you will uh, pawn sacrifice. We'll see, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure. It feels like it's not good. <laughs> Okay, bishop c3, but I'll try my best to get you out of it. Yeah, because I basically opened up the position. Yeah, he didn't want queen g5 because I would just play queen g5. And his pawn is pinned, so it would have been very not good for him. So that's why he didn't take it. Oh, yeah, that's why he didn't play it. <laughs> Let's see, I'm just going to play a queen f3. Yeah, rook f8. Huh? Uh, uh, eh. I don't feel like I can get used to rook square pawns. Yikes, yikes. He was fine with a draw. I did not want it. We'll see. It's getting to time trouble soon. So, let's see. Let's hope that I may trap him there. And may get the W. Well, if Rook F8, it's a blunder, I think, but he does not play it. F3 idea. If C5, well, maybe we even play F3, because he's knight. Knight G5, Queen G5? And otherwise, I don't see a square for his knight. 
Aha. Uh -huh. To save the C5 for his knight. That's very smart. Cabaret. Nice idea. Now we'll still play it. Queen D6. I'm not sure about that. He has Rook D7. I've messed it up. The knight's in trouble. <laughs> and as we all, I think all of us almost knows that in time trouble, it's the most blunders <laughs> usually. Um, queen g3. So yeah, I will try to. I will try to trap him. In it before. I think three seconds won't be enough for him. Whew, that was sweaty. And on the name Cabaret. GG, thanks for the game. Yeah, so in Suleiman of Bulat here, knight d6, king e7, knight b7, queen e3, knight 2, knight e4. I did not see that. Yeah, I want to play a4, but I was scared. I'm playing in Smash 99 I'm not scared that you'll take a berserk. In Cabaret, I was completely lost. <laughs> okay. Okay, I thought he would have played bishop b4, but he did not. Yeah, that was basically a trap in which he did not fall. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, a6, queen e7, knight f6. Mm -hmm. I need g6 or what? Yeah, I think I need to. Scary. This lets let him play. Oh, he doesn't want to play G four. Should be four. Here. Think maybe that's not the best move I could have. I ever played in my career. Not the best move I've played in my career. Um, let's see, rook c4. Queen f5. Queen here. Basically, a free pawn just in the air. Slay b6 prevented him from rook c5. Um, let's play rook here. Trying to maneuver a bit. Rook c3. f6. Oh, oh. Okay, it doesn't play it. Nice. No, let's play, let's play, let's play. Let us play. Yeah.
God, stop, please, Mr. Massina. I am winning now. Why should I do a draw? Hmm? Explain, please. Okay, I think I may have won it a bit easier, and only I must see 89. Good game, yeah, I could have taken a 2 a while ago, but I did not, and uh, now I barely won it. <laughs> yeah, basically, okay, yeah, that's a roller coaster here if we do win, okay, 2, GG. Alrighty, yeah, in Suleiman of Blood, it actually wasn't so bad, it was like plus 3. Oh, that's a lot. Legends of the Masters is Cinema. Aha, uh -huh, that's interesting. E5 is pretty unusual, I think. I think I've seen it before, so T is play quite maybe often, maybe a bit, I'm not sure. But yeah, I've definitely seen it before. Rook B1. A4, I'm not sure what I want to play D4, but I'm worried a bit. So you'll play like Bishop F5, etc, etc. Maybe he does play bishop f5, d3. Think knight b4 maybe will be his move. Not sure. Rook c1, just so I can freely move my pawn. H3. Now d4 takes, takes these here, d3. No, it doesn't seem good. Let's play Queen D2. Here, here, here. I ah, can take with the knight, that's true. Then let's play Knight D2 and then maybe D4 idea. D4. Should be fine now. <laughs> Think I should be pretty fine. Mm -hmm. Ninety six takes. Ninety six takes. Maybe knight c six is a bit better because d six pawn will be alone there. Knight e six have take c bishop g seven king g seven. I'm not sure, so sure. Yeah, we take C. He would have two weak pawns, but then he has knight f5 protecting it. So yeah, I played knight c6, knight c6, not knight e6. So yeah, let's let's just accept it and play with that. Knight e5. Mm -hmm. Rodrigo Gromas is this Hinevan, GG. Wait, what? Playing Roman Harachan. <laughs> Three minutes. Oi, oi, oi. That's spicy. How did he win? It's a little amount of time. I'm not sure. I think there will be a secret. <laughs> well, secret that is open and probably blundered. 
Yeah. Did not something much more. <laughs> or he's open, he just did not make a move. <laughs> C1. I mean, F3. Takes. Knight E2, just like preventing F4. I can play E5, but he does not. Play F4 by my own and then put my knight to e5. I think that is interesting to consider. g3. Knight g1. Yeah, I basically was planning this, so it kind of forced me <laughs> to play it. So thank you for that, Mr. Roman. Knight e5. Win B four. Ninety seven. That's an exchange, actually. Ah, yes, the bishop of three. Yes, bishop of three. I can castle there. Yeah, maybe it is good. Bishop of three castle. Looks good. Queen e2. Yeah, maybe I could have played queen e7, but I'm not sure. He would just play knight a6, and I. Maybe not just knight a6, but a here castle, I think, is a very, very good move. Because, yeah, my rook was hanging, and I made it on hang, let's say. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's actually good that Roman won extremely fast. So I got paired against him. Queen f2. Look at you on bishop e2. And he's the one needing to win. 30 seconds. It will be very, 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 very hard to do. Queen g4, queen e2. And I think draw will have higher performance still. So, mm -hmm. queen e2. Here. B takes C, X, C, uh, D5, then Rook C7. Now I'm in his camp, so I guess he's feeling a bit not comfortable. Me, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure, because I'm not him, of course, but it feels so. At least I think it would feel uncomfortable. Okay, Rook B7 idea. Uh huh. I'm not sure if I really need this. Because now if you make a counter push, I don't know with what I will defend it. Yeah, that's an issue. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure if he will make a counter push.
Oh, I know the name Roman Harachan. Maybe I would have, I could have win, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I did not see it. Maybe, not sure. Oh uh, well, let's check this out. Wait a second. Yeah, I think I was completely winning, but then I maybe threw the advantage. Yeah, I was plus seven. Wait, what? King g1 and queen here? I just didn't see queen f2. But still, I think it would have been pretty hard. But yeah, got the first place out of 156 players. Performance 2788. Games played 23, win rate 83. Berserk rate. Of course, here in the Rishim straight into something only 29. Thank you all for the games. Congrats to Rom Roman Haratian. Haratian. No, wait, not Haratian. Haratian. And to Jean. Charval. Jean Valjean. Okay. So. Ooh, ooh, la 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 la. It's actually nice. Ooh, the time run out. We have almost the same performance. Oh yeah, yoy. So basically, if I would have drew, probably, well, I don't really want to know who would happen. But yeah, so I was completely winning from the opening. I won an exchange, and then I played not so well. And here, I don't know. Yeah, king of one, these could have go king g one immediately, and then queen of two only winning move. But I did not find it. But yeah, <laughs> okay. So first we won at 16 points, second Roman Harachan 66 points, third Jean Valjean 51 points, fourth Grimoire Z Cinema 49 points, fifth Arc Shark 47 points, sixth Roma 2011 to 46 points, seventh Grand Metrius 46 points, eighth Sergei 45 points, ninth Pablo Alcoba 45 points, and then sixth Lord BG 44 points. So I'll show top 100, and yeah, I'll analyze the games and I'll finish the stream. Ooh, Kansk is a candidate master. Cool. So, yeah, that's the on rate of the tournament. So, basically, in Salman of Bulat, I played one cool game. At some point, I sacrificed an exchange on c6, and then I jumped with my pieces, and I managed to win. So, yeah, here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So today I played 24 Blitz games, plus 23 in rating. I didn't win 4 draws and 1 loss. Uh, let's get to draws and then loss. Oh, uh, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4. In the games, Silve Kutle. 1 nil 1 for me, 2 nil 2 for him. So queen f5 is a blunder from him. He had to go for b5. That would have been a draw. He just hung a pawn. Here he had to go for rook e5. Here I'm completely winning. I had very good attack. Here I need to play h4. King h6, what? Yeah, just g4, rook d7, everything would work. But I played queen h7 and up to queen b1, that's actually equal. And then he found checks, I ran away from them, but then even though I won a pawn, he ate my pawn. And yeah, threefold repetition, the was named Silva Kutle. So I had to go for h4, for him it was b5 and rook e5. Then it's Kuzman's turn. That was pretty blunder. No, nah, 2 to 1, 5, 1, 2. Not super blunderful, to be honest. So basically, yeah, threefold repetition in it. Bishop c1 mistake, he had to go for knight c1. And yeah, protect and pawn. I want a pawn. Here he had to go for e takes f. And here I had to go for knight e5. And basically, if he would take this, is. I mean, it looks very crazy, but I'm plus 1.5. This later played blunder from me, I had to go for bishop d6, he takes d king d7, it's fine. With this three mistake, I had to go for queen d7, and I'm completely lost, but he didn't want to play on, and rook f1 blunder, he had to go for bishop f1, and three fold three repetition row, and draw, to the game Kuzman's turn. This, and queen d7 for him, knight c1, then e takes f, and bishop f1. In the game against the grandmother, they seen him, and that was like 3 nil, no, 3 nil 1 for me, and 1 nil 1 for him. So that was very clear. d4 is a blunder, I had to go for bishop a1. Here he took, and then he had to take b takes c, and what here? Let's see. e4? Yeah, e4, knight moves, knight a5, knight c4 threads, yeah. But he, did, we both did not see it. And then here, draw the game, Grandmaster, the cinnamon. Good game. 
Uh, wait. Where did you? I forgot. Yikes. <laughs> Let's see. Rookie one is interesting. Game instrument 100 chan 5 to 2 for me, 5 for 1 for him. So, from the open, it was equal. 96 mistake, it'll go for 94. Here, I could have closed c5, then bishop a6, and basically that position is better. Yeah, rook a8 mistake, he had to play c5 by his own, preventing me from c5. Then he had to go for c5, and then I had to go for c5. <laughs> then, okay, c5 was not a mistake, rook b8 mistake, he had to go for d takes c. Here, you had to go for d take c, these. So basically, I'm completely winning. Here, he decides to give away a rook, and with six in seconds, I did not understand that king g1. And I have queen f2. Yeah, I was just like scared if he would play these. I'm not sure if that was clear win, and here, he still has some checks. So basically, here, three fold repetition on the, and draw three Roman Haratian. This and just king g1 and for him knight e4 and c5 c5 d takes c bishop f3 castle yeah that was cool and one loss against zaplia i lost it 2 nil 3 for him 2 1 2 for me bc blind i had to go for d5 already got the advantage here, I had to go for e3, f takes c, and then like knight g4. Yeah, and I'm better. f3, blonde, I had to go for queen d2, so yeah, he played weirdly. Here, I'm completely winning. I won a queen for a rook. Then I got a knight, basically just a queen for a rook. Queen and a pawn versus a rook. Here, queen e3, blonde, I had to go for queen e3, I just hung a queen. He did not see that. And then bishop e4, blonde, I had to go for rook c4, b takes c. Bishop e4, completely winning. And here he saw my queen, and then the rest was pretty clear. And here, checkmate, and I lost the game. Zapli, uh, oh wait, it's mostly e3, queen d3, and rook c4. And for him, d5, then for us, queen d2, and knight c3. So, I'll finish this great stream. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then feel free. Please show me little chess. Best question club now my team is 165 members. Thank you very, very much. So, 35 members and now we till 1,000 members. So, very, very close to, to 1,000 members. So, feel free to join. We'll be very happy. And thank you for following only chess on YouTube and on Twitch. And as usual, click the like button and subscribe to me. And please consider doing please join chess. And also, please my Discord. If you'll join my Discord, you'll get notifications when I stream on Twitch and when I post videos on YouTube. Link in the description. And yeah, bye bye. Come back. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Let's have fun. See you all. Stay cool.